Hi guys, welcome to the video. Um, today I'm going to be opening these um, God Tier expansion boxes. As you can see, Steamforge Games were very generous in sending me over five different boxes. So I'm going to do an unboxing for all of them and show you them in a bit more detail on what the miniatures are, what the cards are, what kind of powers they've got and things and how they try and have a look at how they play if I can figure it out quickly. Um, so please keep watching this video. The description will be in the video for which one I am opening. And I'm really excited to get to these because they look awesome. This one I think is going to be my favourite one with the massive sword. It just looks so cool. And his art on the back is awesome as well as you can see. So um, stick with the video and coming up next will be the unboxing for one of these. Uh, if you like what I'm doing and you uh, enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps. And please like the video. It also helps. And comment on which one of these you would like to have. Um, if you've got the game, which one's your favourite? Which one's play the best? Which have got the best synergy? Because I really want to get into this game and start learning it and playing it really well. So um, let's take this to the video and unbox some of these. Hi guys, so now we're unboxing the Kaelin, the Fury of the Forest and the Virtues. She's only got two minions. They're both quite big though. And she's only got the very small banner there as well. And obviously her model is big. She looks like a Minotaur or Minotaur, whatever you want to call her. Um, she looks really funky. She's got some swords and daggers. And I'm guessing these are a bit more powerful than your regular minions because there's only two of them. So this could be a really cool set to play as. Uh, as with the other yellow set, she's going to do well for attacking your, not the main bosses of the other teams, but the their minions. She's going to take them down. Um, it says on the back, Kaelin changed when she was chosen. Imbued with the wild rage of nature, the fierce champion bears little resemblance to the demure, demure acolyte she once was. A pair of virtues follow her. Druid warriors of her order, charged with protecting and guiding their tragic sister on her path to godhood. Unleash the Fury, this set includes Kaelin, two virtues, Kaelin's banner and profile cards. So yeah, as I said, there's only two miniatures here, but they're bigger than the regular ones. Um, and this, of course, needs the base card tier game to play. So let's have a look at this set and see what's inside. Open it up. Okay. So she's got a really cool look to her. Um, I was going to get her out first because she looks really funky. You can see she's got a big horn through her head like a unicorn. And then she's got really good detail in all around her armour. And she's got like a chest shield thing here on her, the front of her body. And then kind of armour here and um, a saddle type thing here. But obviously she's... I think she's meant to be ridden like a horse, so it's not proper saddle. Really ornate decorations, ponytail down the back of her hair, two really cool looking kind of short swords or daggers, and of course like a horse's mane and body and tail. So yeah, she's really funky looking. She's very big, um, and then she's got her two... Um, side kind of minions these are smaller minotaurs still uh, with great detail and on the clothing they've got kind of double horns so more like deers than they are big horses she's got one one of the swords and a really nice uh gauntlets on her arms and stuff and hopefully the camera is picking up some of this detail because it's not showing great on my side but these guys look brilliant they're really interesting they're really unique you know, you don't see a lot of these type of Minotaur characters in games and things. It's really cool to have. This one's got a sword in her left hand here. And then some kind of whip or chain or something in her, in her right arm. Uh, I think it's a man actually. Uh, I can't really tell. But again, longish hair. It's tied into a ponytail. And then great detail and all around and on the clothing and the, the dressing of the horse's body kind of area. And really funky looking. So these look like they're going to be really cool. And then their banner is a very small kind of stag-like looking uh, wooden thing with an ornate carving of a that kind of shield on it at the front. Looks really nice. Very small, but nice. And then her cards. So we'll have a look at these. She has um, a blank card on the back, which I've not really seen before. And she's actually come with four cards so none of the others have got this card in that i've seen 
I don't really know what that's for. Why well, you've got an extra card. Um, but hopefully it'll come clear when we look at her in a minute. So the main woman, she's, yeah, like I said before, she's a maelstrom, so she gets an extra one step when they knock out an enemy follower. So that'll help you each round, so your plan is to take the followers out. She's a centaur, it says Kaelin cannot enter objective hexes. During her activation, she may enter small follower hexes. If she ends her movement on a hex containing small followers, move each small follower into an adjacent hex. So she can kind of push small followers out of her way with her size and um, strength. And then on the other side, you've got same stuff, but just her main power for the game. She can do the impaling horn, has to be within one hex. Is move Kaelin up to one hex, then you may choose an enemy follower within range to gain wounds until it is knocked out. You move the turn token an extra two steps instead of the usual maelstrom bonus for this knockout. So she's guaranteeing to knock someone out and do two steps onto your turn for that round. That could be really critical at some point if you're losing and you want the extra couple of points at the end to get up to your five points you need to win. Sounds like a really cool power. Then she's got her, I'll do the planning phase first. So in the planning phase, she's got a powerful leap. Uh, place Kaylin on a hex, up to two hexes from her current hex. Uh, so she can move two. And then she can do thundering hooves, which has to be within two range. So she can move up to one hex, then move one friendly champion within range up to one hex. So if you're playing the two champions or three champions at once, you can move and position really nicely with Kaylin. And she's got good health, good movement of four. Dodger 3 and Shield of 2. So she's not got the best shield, but she's got alright health. And then the followers. You have... Um, I haven't looked at the attack side. The attack side, when you're in the attack phase, she's got Brutal Charge. If Kaylin made an advance action, this activation, Brutal Charge is a bonus action. So that's like you get to do it if she's done an advance. So you get 1 range, 4 accuracy dice and 6 attack dice. And in Flashing Blade, this skill may target up to two followers that are on different hexes, but they have to be within one hex space. So she then gets five accuracy and six attack dice. So if you can get next to um, two of the other opponent's followers, you get to attack two of them and then do a good amount of damage. Um, they've got to be in different hexes, though, so they can't be ones on the same hex together. Then her followers, they're quite strong. Yeah, like I said before, I expected them to be because there's only two of them. They've got four health. They've got two shield and they've got three dodge. And they can move four spaces. In the planning phase, it says if Kaelin is within range, she gains a boon of your choice. So that's two hexes away. And compassion, move this virtue up to one hex. Then move one friendly follower within range up to one hex. So move in and then move someone else if they're within two hexes of you. And it says these are harmonious. Immediately after a virtue uses a skill, the other virtue may use the same skill as part of the same action. You get to do it with both of them. Uh, both of them get to move at once, kind of. Then on your attack phase, you've got Serenity, where you can add a dodge. Uh, it says you move move this virtue up to two hexes, and you can give a dodge boon to someone. And then Justice. If the virtue is made an advance action, this activation, Justice has plus one attack dice for this. So if you've done an advance, you get to do five accuracy and five attack dice within one space. But if you don't, you only get to roll the four attack dice. Um, and then, yeah, same as the harmonious skill on this side as well. So when you move, um, after you use a skill, the other virtues can use the same skill as part of that action. They seem quite powerful. They can do a lot of movement and uh, manipulating of movement of other characters. And then also attacks and do things together as a pair. These two can move together and do skills together at the same time without spending extra action points. So she could be really, really good. Um, let me know if you've played her. She seems quite complicated. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how she plays best or what her best tactics are. Obviously, you've got to try and take out the the opposite uh, minions to get more points. And she's got what looks like a really good uh, ultimate power. So if you've played her, let me know what you think of her. Uh, leave a message in the comments. Um, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching this one. See you soon.